is going on people connor coming to you i'm out here doing my very first vlog my very first course vlog and i'm glad that you guys are able to join me here and uh, partake in this journey with me i'm out here at the beautiful uh, golf course at red rock in rapid city south dakota it is hands down the most beautiful course in this area by far so without further ado let's get into this so uh, playing back nine tonight uh, it's a monday evening so uh, front side's got some uh, people on it. So come out to the back side. It's fairly empty. Just uh, gonna go and enjoy it. First hole I'm playing is par four. Dog leg left. Pretty much just wanna go straight at it. Maybe a little bit right, not too far right. Otherwise your second shot's gonna be playing a lot further in. If you go too far left, you're gonna be flirting with the water or having to deal with all this beautiful undulation on the fairway here. No trouble with the green. It, there's a ridge that bisects the green and so with the pin in the front here you're definitely going to want to be short of that ridge otherwise it's going to be a really long and tough two putt should be good a little bit further right than i want but should be uh just in the right side of the fairway probably about 150 140 out maybe Okay, sitting at about uh, 160 to the center of the green. Uh, it's going to be playing a lot shorter than that because the pin's in the front. Got that ridge going across the middle of the green. Uh, last time I played, uh, I ended up breaking my, um, my gap wedge. So unfortunately, I don't have that club to deal with. It's a little bit too far for my next club down. A little bit too close for my next club up, which is the pitching wedge. So just going to go with a nice, easy pitching wedge, see if we can't get one... Uh, to land just on the front and trickle on up. short of the front of the green, it's just a little bit too far away. Take a putter, a little bit plug, be able to put this thing on up there, get it nice and tight. So again, we're gonna go with the pitching wedge, just play a little bit further back. See if we can bump one up there, nice and tight for a tap in. Tap in par, or maybe you get lucky and it goes in. Take that all day though. Pretty excited about that. First hole ever in the vlog. And uh, I hit a fairway. I played a decent shot in, just a little bit short. Chipped it within six inches of the hole. One putt par. Man, I'll take a par all day. Second hole. Really the only hole we'll play where there's a significant jump from the blues to the blacks is about 75 yards. So for me, I can get a driver past these two trees, but I'm a little bit wild with it, so I just want to play something a little bit short to the right or the left to keep myself in a good position. This green, it can be a little bit tricky with this pin location since the pin is tucked away on the right hand side here. Go a little bit long, then you're gonna be rolling off that back right corner. Everything goes down pretty hard that direction. I don't know if you can really see it with the sun and everything, but we're looking at just left of this big tree in front of us. That's kind of our aiming point. Got my trusty three wood. A little bit left. I'm hoping it's still in the fairway. So I ended up making the fairway. Pleased about that. About Probably about 146, 147 to the center of the green. So just hit a nice little easy pitching wedge. Just try and get it up there, run it along the green. Pins tight on the right, don't really want to go for it. Just hit the center of the green. So we're going for it. Here. That's not what I want. Yikes. 
that rolled uh, rolled past the green. So I know not every shot is gonna be perfect, but the best I can do is just uh, give it my all on every single shot. You know, forget about the pass, forget about that last shot, move on to the next one. But see if we can't get up and down again, get out of here with the parks in. If not, one over, it stinks, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so like I said, the ball went a little bit past the green. I'm gonna go with the pitching wedge again. Um, just gonna try and hit a nice easy bump and run up there, get it to run on up. Who knows, you hit a good one, it might go in. definitely not the tap in I was hoping for. That shot did not go like I planned. I got uh, roughly 30 feet left for par. Unfortunate, but it happens. Third hole, shortest hole in the course on either side, and really there's nothing to it. You just want to hit a wedge right into this green. Pins in the front. There's a ridge in the middle of it. However, if you go past that ridge, it's not the end of the world. It's not a difficult two putt from really anywhere on the green. All right, so it's not my favorite club. Again, pitching wedge. on the putting surface. the most intimidating tee shot in the entire course you get this narrow shoot but it opens up pretty good you definitely gonna want to be on the left side of the fairway because if you go short right it's probably gonna run off into the really really heavy stuff second shot's always gonna be up the hill and this green it's not really too tricky but anything past the green is gonna be really really quick down tough to control but relatively not too difficult of a green it easy. I'm walking. Let some riders go through. A little bit of extra time to walk this hole. Mm. Well, damn. <laughs> Didn't mean for that to happen, but it did. I think it's okay. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so through three holes, got some ups, got some downs. We are at one over par. It's not bad. We definitely would like to be even or maybe even under par. But when you have a bad shot and then you have another bad shot after that, it's kind of the thing that happens. So comment down below what you think the final score is going to be. Don't cheat. Don't jump to the end. Just let me know now 
what you think the final score is going to be. First course vlog, a little bit of nerves out there. There shouldn't be any nerves out there because it's basically just me out here. Uh, I just got a camera filming me now. I can definitely see how the, the guys at these golf tournaments, these PGA tournaments, how they still get nerves out there. Um, and just the way that they're able to overcome those nerves and keep on playing, it's pretty remarkable, honestly. These guys are pretty doggone good. Maybe one day I'll be one of them. Probably not. Maybe one day. We'll see. Okay, so uh, found the ball in the rough. Was it too hard to find? Not very thick rough, luckily. So uh, I think I'm going to get a little bit of a jumper out of this one. Not worried about going short. I'm, uh, I didn't check the yardage, but I can see the 150 back there. I'm eh, 120 ish. I should probably actually get a uh, range finder so that I can know my precise yardage. But I'm about 120 ish. So I'm going to go with the sand wedge. Just nice, easy. Well, as Bob Barker would say, that was not nice and easy, Happy. Let's go find it. So I got the ball. It's in just in the thick stuff here. Hard to see with that sun right there. Got a front left pin location. Green's going uh, slanting from here, right to left. Oh man, I am out of shape. I am trying to run around and beat that sunset, but man, I am really out of shape. Woo!